Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising from the 6th to the 12th of July 2020. I hope you're well Virgo. So let's get straight into your reading and pull the card, the overarching message for you. And it is, wow, the Eight of Wands, very nice energy. Okay, we have strange companions in stranger places, challenges, use your imagination. And let's get an angel card. Angels, what is the message for our lovely Virgos, please? It is 6 to the 12th of July 2020, please. What is the message that Virgo needs to hear? Thank you. Message Virgo needs to hear. Manifestation. Okay. So Virgo, as always, I pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is outcome. And then we pull clarifiers to go deeper into the message. As always, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angel spirits, guides. What is the message for Virgo? Interesting. It's just popped out. Three of cups. Nine of cups. <laughs> Beautiful energy. This is your challenge. Oh my goodness, Virgo, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> this is the advice from Spirit. And the two, sorry, the Lovers card, card of Gemini. Okay, let's get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirit's Guides, message for Virgo. 6th to the 12th of... July 2020. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Thank you. Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. Page of Swords clarifies the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we've got another victory card here, the Six of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, I'm just going to clarify this Lover's card. Let's clarify this Lover's card first. What is this Lover's card, please, for Virgo, Angel Spirits Guides? What is this Lover's card for Virgo, please? 6th to the 12th of July 2020. What is this lover's card, please, in the outcome? We have the five of wands. I'm just going to clarify the eight of wands. Let's clarify what this eight of wands is all about for you. Okay, it's the Two of Cups. Let's get one more for that. <laughs> yeah, with the cards on the table, let's get just one more for that. Please, Two of Cups, thank you. Two. We have the Moon and we have the Nine of Cups here. Again, the Nine of Cups. So Virgo, we started with the Eight of Wands. This can be online energy as well as obviously in your physical reality. It's not exclusive to online, but it can well be about the possibility of when you take action, you have the possibility to bring positive shifts. And I feel it's to do with love and romance here. 
And the Eight of Wands can be about news, communication, that can lead to something solid. There's potential of, of connecting to new people, having new conversations here. So it's a beautiful energy of positive shifts can happen, and I feel it's to do with your love relationship environment here. We have the Two of Cups. Again, I do feel that this can be to do with some kind of offer or opportunity in love, new love that might be coming into you, positive shifts. You know, this can be a level of the unexpected as well. It's out of the blue, something just like a bolt out of the blue. Um, so it might well take you a little bit by surprise, but it is linked to bringing you real happiness, fulfillment, joy. The Nine of Cups is the Wish Fulfillment card. It's also the card of, of getting your heart's desire. Um, there's a lot of emotional energy in this. We have Two Cups energy, which is very much linked to our emotions and feelings, deep emotional connections here. So I certainly feel for some of you, there's some kind of deep emotional connection. You might feel you instantly know this person because certainly with the cards on the table I, you know the ones can be very exciting and they're full of passion and drive and energy so you know this is kind of like a new energy coming your way and the moon energy can be a card of trusting your intuition can also be a card of um, hidden blessings uh, so this can be a card of where God, the universe, the divine, certainly with the Wheel of Fortune being in your advice from spirit, is bringing you this opportunity. And there's a kind of message with the moon. Everything might not be clear to you, but the universe has cl full clarity and understands exactly what's going on behind the scenes. So for some of you, it is just about trusting your intuition, your guiding, guiding uh, being guided, and surrendering maybe what's gone. And I do feel for some of you, there may well be some past issues that you need to surrender now. Yeah, it's kind of like a feeling of surrender what's gone to, because there's something that's intuitive that I do feel and deeply divinely being brought to you. Yeah. You know, I was uh, looking at the challenges, use your imagination, but the one thing that struck me was strange companions in stranger places. And that's what this feels like. It feels like there could be somebody new coming into your life. Something, a kind of level of the unexpected here. From You might meet them in, uh, uh, to pun the phrase here, strange places. You might suddenly connect to somebody, um, could be online, uh, that you know their link may pop up for you you know sometimes in Facebook and social media they recommend potential friends to connect to and so on I mean there might be a level of that as well happening here um, also obviously just in your daily routine daily life there may well be somebody that you might be already know or bumping into or beginning to have a conversation with and it just feels very very connected instantly that's where I'm feeling the energy here and it's because I do feel for some of you it is linking to what you're looking for your hopes dreams and wishes it's really beautiful energy now the energy of this is it's interesting because the energy of this is there could be some fit you know sometimes there is fear it's too good to be true so with the moon energy you, you're being told to trust you're being told to go with the flow, surrender. Surrender what's gone and allow yourself to be guided forward. Because I do feel there's a promise of, of manifesting something wonderful here. The very beginnings of it. So, interesting energy. <laughs> it feels very positive, you know, certainly when I touch the card sometime, I do get an instant feeling in terms of how, how things are being interpreted for me as a reader and it feels very positive. Now the Three of Cups is a card of celebration, reasons to celebrate. Can also be some, can be communication between friends. So it might well be this choice decision that you're making to do with love, may well be with a friend or something or, yeah, I mean there could be an element of that here as well, Virgo. Um, this can also be a card of if there's you're still dealing with past issues because we do have the ten of wands in your challenge so you may well still be dealing with past issues here 
there's a message here to say the the winter is over the spring is here it is time to let that part of your life you know be in the part be in the past and embrace the new because this is somebody who is taking a risk on the new they're making life choices decisions on choosing what they want and what they don't want with the two of wands so it's a really beautiful energy here just don't allow you know there's a block here sometimes I feel with the ten of wands which can be about past burdens past the past journey can be blocking you from embracing the new you know the happiness the wish fulfillment you see this person they're carrying ten wands so the metaphor here is because you're carrying such a heavy load and this is from the past that you don't have any arms free you've got nothing free to actually embrace anything further anything new so this is about making space for the new because I certainly feel for some of you there is such happiness available to you and this is the Saturnian energy you know this is Saturn in Sagittarius so don't block the new journey that's unfolding for you don't block the new adventure that's unfolding for you now again the eight of wands is Mercury in Sagittarius so some kind of transformative a journey or a new journey or a new adventure that is open to you now um, the Wheel of Fortune is divine orchestration, divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. It's kind of linking in with the moon energy. You might not see the big picture, but the universe does. There's so much going on behind the scenes, and it's all for things shifting in your favor, opportunity, people coming into your life when they're meant to. So I certainly feel for some of you, this is very much with the Page of Swords. There could be some like I said some news or conversation or message coming your way it's kind of tying in with this eight of wands energy something that could lead to, lead to something solid because the wheel of fortune is good luck good fortune expansion growth it, it is also a transmutable energy of endings and beginnings so there is a feeling of as one door closes you are opening another one maybe some new conversation or new connection is coming into your life and I feel this quite strongly um, a conversation is is just feeling instantly connected with somebody there's that instant connection it's almost kind of like that I, I, I'm kind of saying that past life experience you know when you just feel like you've known someone before but I certainly feel for some of you this is a really powerful energy so we have the five of wands over the lovers which is your outcome which is interesting because for some of you I do feel that this is linked to the closure the three of cups um, you're being told in order to embrace this new opportunity this positive shift that is happening for you I mean there are so many positive energy shifts in your readings we have the chariot we have the wheel of fortune we have the eight of wands here there is real powerful energy shifts here for you that are helping you manifest something new the five of wands can be about conflict struggle some of you could have struggled with past love and it might well be for some of you the chariot is symbolizing that it's time to put it behind you it's time to focus on a new goal and take the reins of your life and charge your head towards a new goal a new vision eyes on the prize towards victory and success so for some of you I kind of feel that there may well have been struggle in the past and this is about overcoming I mean the chariot overcomes your internal struggle your internal barriers your internal limitations and like I said this ten of wands is that barrier towards happiness this is overcoming that and it's, it's doubly clarified with the six of wands as well which is is absolutely about victory claiming a victory putting something behind you and charging ahead saying bring it on now so and that's just for me as a reader I do call it the bring it on card because for me you've overcome the challenge you've discovered what you're made of you finally put something behind you like I said the winter is over the spring is here now and you're ready to take a risk on the new you are 
two of wands um, you're ready to make life choices decisions and take a risk on a new vision and that is this stranger places this strange companion stranger places I feel it's in something new don't let past struggles I, I do feel this is a sense of overcoming a past struggle and coming back to who you are connecting to your higher self to really focus on a new goal a new vision a new journey you know the chariot is somebody who overcomes an internal challenge it's to do with our emotions and feelings in particular in order to move forward to victory in their external environment it's a really beautiful turning point um, yeah so I do feel for some of you there's a big message that you're ready you're ready for a go for new love so I'm going to pull one more card so any further advice for Virgo please any further advice for Virgo angel spirits guides any further advice for Virgo there's somebody new here oh, there's too many there there's too many you know I will leave that one the, the Emperor because it is somebody who is taking control okay one card has fallen out yeah we have the high priestess so there is a message here of of trust your intuition connect to your inner knowing now in order to see the way forward and the Emperor is somebody who takes control takes the initiative um, and that might be an element of this Virgo if you feel that there are still past unresolved issues the Emperor is somebody who restores foundation they res they understand how to find solid ground in order to go for what they want now this is a card of somebody who is in their power takes control of their life and goes for what they want so it might well be a message for you now is the time to take control it might well be to do with overcoming this victory this challenge that you face final message please angel spirits guides final message thank you yeah and I feel it's to do with this the devil there is a change here Virgo and this is the block this is the block the the message here is the, de the devil is when we feel powerless it can represent toxic relationships and we know that there has been a struggle possibly in the past that you are overcoming now to move forward towards new love new opportunity it's something that is going to bring you greater happiness that is being guided towards you it is about absolutely embracing something new and um, moving towards unknown territory for some of you the devil is that Saturnian energy that will keep you stuck and I did feel this block in your challenge and I did say that quite strongly because this ties in with the ten of wands you're not making space for the new because this is somebody who holds on to the past and that is very much tying in with this devil energy somebody who uh, this very much keeps you exactly where you are and doesn't allow you to break free of this energy it can represent codependent relationships can represent um, relationships that just go round and round and round in circles you feel like you're going round and round in a roundabout and it's difficult to break free of them so that can be sometimes the devil energy but this is the Emperor so this is something this is something that we give power to that take that can we give our power to and this is somebody who actually owns their power so there is a change in power here this is you taking control not allowing possibly the past whatever this ten of wands represents the past to block and I mean block future happiness because this is somebody who understands how to bring expansion and growth into their life and success by being in their power they they take their power they don't give their power to the devil uh, they are complete opposites the Emperor and the devil in that sense because the, the Emperor is in his power um, he will not give power to to this illusion of, of feeling powerless so for some of you I feel that there is a shift in in power dynamic taking control 
taking the initiative now, owning your power and not giving this, not feeding this devil energy because it will only keep you stuck. And that's the inner knowing. It is about coming back to your true self, your true energy. Now the High Priestess again is linked with that moon energy and we are told here with the moon energy that you are being guided. So it is about trust your intuition, what your inner knowing is telling you in how to move forward, take charge of a situation and overcome it to start a new adventure I feel with somebody new. Yeah, there is a real power shift between these two. This is powerless, this is power. So there is some kind of you know, and I feel this with the two of wands taking control. I'm ready for the new. I'm ready to make life choices, decisions. I'm ready to shape my world for the for the better. I'm taking control now. And I feel when you do and when you take action and make space for the new, there is a positive shift available to you, which is the eight of wands. It is transformational energy. Okay. So we have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during those quiet times. It might well be there may well be some quiet time to, to really connect to that inner knowing, to just really get that introspection in terms of how you need to move forward in your life now. Because I certainly feel for some of you, there is, we've got two nine of cups here Virgo and there is greater happiness ahead but something is blocking that and you're being told to take action the other card i've got is moderation <laughs> is there something you know you should be eating try to eat mindfully and healthfully although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine yeah so it's just beautiful energy it is about taking action. When you take action, and this is very Emperor energy, take action. The universe wants to bring you new conversation into your life, uh, positive change, positive shifts, uh, new growth, exciting energy coming out of the blue. Things shift very quickly and it's divinely guided towards this. A two of cups can be an offer or an opportunity that brings you happiness and joy. So it's not necessarily solely linked with love. Um, can also be new love for some of you. So I certainly feel something is going to bring you real happiness, fulfillment, contentment here, Virgo. Two nine of cups, but it is your challenge. And this is about dealing with things that are blocking that coming in. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.